No, no. <laughs> it's me again. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The great unboxing. The great unboxing. I've saved this. It arrived yesterday. This. It arrived yesterday. But I've had other things on my mind and to do. And forgive me, it's bloody cold in here. I've just put my electric fan heater on. It hasn't warmed the bloody room up. And I won't put my gas gas heater up. Gas. I've got lovely central heat in here. But I've got a big radiator downstairs. And it heats up the whole way to keep the house warmer than it does me. So in other words, if I put it on... <laughs> It makes <laughs> it warms up the structure of the building rather than me I need heat I need heat and yeah anyway so I'm gonna cheer myself up because it's been a long day it's been a long time and I indulged in some retail therapy so I got got this yeah, so I'm going to open it up, and I'm sure I'll love it. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm drunk. I am a drunk. <coughs> but I'm not full, apart from being a drunk. And I've got some retail therapy, and i got this to open. Let's get on with it. No, I'm not kidding you. It's bloody heavy. It is bloody heavy. What? Jesus. I'm not joking. It is really heavy. Heavy. I could weigh it. This is so heavy, it should have a warning on it. Now, as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit like, you know, what's this all, all about, you know? That should all be sealed. So maybe there's three bricks in there instead of what I want. Well, let's have a look. No, 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 the, the seal's still there, the seal's still there. <coughs> let's get my lightning fan blade. I uh, bought this, ordered it, I wanted it back in summer, but it was a lot of money, a lot of money. I really wanted it back then, and then it came up, as it does, Amazon says, oh, it's discounted, yeah, right. I thought, I really would like it to add to my book collection. I love my books and I've got lots of them and I've got heirloom books you know books that you pass on and this definitely is one of them right that this wait it's going to be three bricks I hope it is. <laughs> Ready? This is not going to disappoint. <coughs> this is my fuck it. This is my very special book. I've followed Lamar since I was a kid in the early 70s when on a family holiday with my mum and dad 
and me estranged sister and I was about five or six and dad said I can remember it now and I can still see it in my head dad said dad said to me in the Austin 1100 he said we're going down Paul we're going down on a racetrack on a race circuit and he was driving us down the mall sand straight we camped there we camped there um, and I loved it in a tent which is why I've gone back to the air tent now I bought an air tent as you know and I could hear the frogs croaking at the night time I so so special so special those memories <coughs> and I've followed Le Mans as much as I could ever since I've not been there I've heard of late lots of people complain and it's just like the usual you go there spend a load of money and get fucking pissed out of your head and there's just loads of piss heads there and you don't want to be there you know, well, maybe. But anyway, I've bought this. Maybe the pissettes who go there with their BMW M2s, M3s, M4s, M6s, and the Audi Brigade with their RS products, maybe they might go there because they've got loads of money get pissed out of their brains but maybe they haven't got this book so I bought it and it's bloody heavy it really is it really it's the heaviest book I've bought I am not going to be disappointed because I can see what's inside have a look can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It cost me 127 quid. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> I've bought books more expensive than this. But this one, I'm going to love. I did cancel it, as I said. And they said, no, you can't cancel it. And I thought, that's for a reason. It's because I'm going to love it. So I say if I do. Oh. Oh. And it does weigh a ton. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's worth 127 quid in before I open it. I shouldn't I should leave it sealed, shouldn't I? I should leave it sealed and or buy another copy and leave that one sealed. Oh, I, do, I, do, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Do I open it or do I leave it sealed? Ah, fuck it. Open it. Oh, God. I'm so pleased and proud. I bought a war game. <coughs> I imported it from the United States. Hex war game. That cost me 100 quid. And I bought it. It was the only one available in the world, literally. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. That was unpunched and sealed. And I asked among a thousand people, and I'm not joking, I asked among a thousand people who are adherents to this psychosis, I said, what do I do with it? 
do I leave it as is or do I open it and play it? Um, and they said, play it. Play it. Don't sit on it. Play it. Well, I haven't. I've sat on it. But I may do one day play on it. Now this, this, <coughs> this, this, I don't know. I don't know. I need to give up smoking and drinking. I could leave it sealed. I could leave it sealed. What do you think? Let me think about it. 